I have a new small set of um, twisty puzzles that I've bought from Ben in Japan. Um, he's this amazing collector of Rubik's Cubes and other kinds of twisty puzzles, and he's selling, I think, a lot of his collection. If you're interested in buying any of his um, puzzles or even just seeing what he has, I'll put the link um, down below. But for now, let's have a look at what I got. So this kind of has a similar setup to this puzzle, which is one of my all-time favorite twisty puzzles, which is why I chose to go for this one. But obviously it's a little more complicated because we have these weird sort of swappable curved pieces. Yeah, so that can go around like that, which is something you can't do on this one. Um, so you get these extra cuts into the circular faces, but I think, yeah, these turn as well. Wow, that is going to be a hard puzzle. Colours on here have some sort of logic to them, right? So we have red and red and orange and orange and yellow and yellow and white and white. Okay, yeah, so these the colours here are the same as the colour there always. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so there is some logic to it. I thought there wasn't, and that would be horrendously difficult. I don't actually know what this puzzle's called. It's made by Diane. Um, if you know what it's called, let me know. This isn't quite sold, is it? Okay. So now this puzzle has, I think it's 32 faces. Um, so it's a little bit like a Tutminx. So this is a Tutminx. And a Tupminx has um, hexagonal faces like this, and then around it it has three more hexagonal faces and three pentagonal faces. This one has... Is this heptagonal? No, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two... No, it's an octagonal face. Yeah, so this is an octagonal face with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, of course, <laughs> pentagonal faces around it. The Tupminx is actually relatively straightforward to solve if you know how to solve a Megaminx. This one I'm less sure about, I wonder. Okay, so I can't quite work out what is legal and what isn't. So once I've done this, is this actually a move? Yeah, okay. I guess it is, but then does it actually let you go anywhere? Okay. So again, I forget what this puzzle's called, but I think it's called something like a 32, it's got the number 32 in its name, I think, 32 face puzzle or something. And again, the reason my eye was drawn to this, I mean, both of these are quite rare puzzles, I think, um, and both are sort of have something in common with puzzles that I like a lot. So I'm a big fan of the Tummix, which this is similar to, and I'm a big fan of the puzzle that this one's similar to. Okay, let's have a look at a couple more. Okay, so I know what this puzzle is called. I already have a Hexaminx, um, which is a, a gold-coloured one, um, but I like the look of this purple limited edition one. The Hexaminx is a really fun puzzle. I highly recommend it. Um, it looks extremely difficult, and the funny thing is it looks difficult because it's actually a Megaminx changed into the shape of a cube. Once you scramble it, it just kind of looks a little bit more like a Megaminx, and it's easier to see how things work. So in some ways, it being in cube shape is makes it look harder than it really is. That's a good fun puzzle. I just love that purple color. Beautiful. All right, so this is a four by four by five. In purple. Getting shape shift. And then this one is a rather similarly named, but not quite the same, 5x5x4. Five by five by so they're two different uh, cuboids. I love cuboid puzzles, and these two are just really nice looking. I guess I ought to sticker them, because um, otherwise there's not really any challenge to them. <laughs> uh, they just look nice, um, but they do look very nice. And then one more puzzle. Oh yeah, now this one I just... It caught my eye in Ben's photo, but I couldn't really tell what it was or how it worked. So let's have a look and see. The main reason it caught my eye is because it's an amazing colour. This comes with some stickers, which have not yet been applied. And here it is. This is the puzzle. So I'm going to take it out of this wrapper. Ooh. 
Ooh, wow. So I guess this is 3D printed. Is that the case? I think so. Look at the colors on those. I mean, it's all one color, but the light catches them at different angles because of the grain and the 3D printing there. Does it turn? Can you do this? It's very, very loose. Um, and now normally looseness, oh, there we go. Normally looseness can mean it's easy to turn, but in this case, it makes it harder to turn um, because it means the pieces don't align. And does it shape shift? Can I do this? Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> okay, so I clearly need to sticker this so that I can actually play with it as a proper puzzle. I've done two moves on it and I'm hopelessly lost. <laughs> Where does this go now? It's probably really obvious. It's got 35 written on it, I guess. Is that the name of it? Oh, it's a limb cube puzzle, is that right? I don't know. Wow, it is hard to turn this. That's my excuse. <laughs> to be perfectly aligned and there's so many pieces going in all kinds of directions that it is hard to get them to align. Anyway, there we go. So there we are. That is a very exciting set of puzzles. I shall probably make some videos on some or all of these. Let me know if there's any in particular you'd like to see videos on. Um, I probably will try and stick at this and see if I can make a video on that one because that seems fascinating. I wonder how scooby it is. These two I love. Um, but I'll definitely need to find some suitable sized stickers for them um, to be able to solve them. Um, the Hexaminx is a great puzzle, as I say. Really good fun. These two I'm a bit intimidated by, <laughs> so I don't know if I will scramble them or not. Probably should, though. So there we go. If you're interested in um, getting hold of any puzzles like these, just check out Ben's link below. Uh, I'll put his email address in as well so you can see how to get hold of him. Um, and if you like this video and want to see more like it, uh, check this out or hit the subscribe button or like or, you know, whatever. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.